is the energy for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, Rising Sun. Energy for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Energy for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. 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 Ooh. Let the old lies scheme out. You are the star, Saggy. Okay. Oh. The energy of the lovers are here, Saggy. But I'm, I'm just having a feeling that you Sagittarius are not interested in loving this week. Anyway, this week is going to be a powerful week for you Sagittarians. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands. There is worries. There's conflicts. is over. I'm seeing the lies and deception. I'm seeing you making a decision over the King of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see what is coming out. All right, so um, you're dealing with someone who is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. And there's a lot of secrets, but these secrets are going to be coming out. Okay? Um, so there is a young person who is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. Um, this person has a lot of secrets, but the secrets are going to be coming out. So, um, um, what is transpiring is that whatever the secret is, is that the hermit is coming to show the lie about this person. Okay, this person has been deceivingly lying and it's all coming out. Now, the energy of the five of ones is here. The energy of the five of ones is here. And the conflict is over between you and your um, husband or wife. There was some conflicts between you and your husband and wife. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is really bringing positive um, energies and you're moving forward, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is really bringing positive energies and you're moving forward. So um, some of you um, decide to stay with a relationship. Some of you decide to move away from a relationship. However, that ha I help you. Nine of Wands, you are planning, you're planning your way forward, okay? Whatever is transpiring is that you're planning your way forward and you're planning to make a move at the right time. Okay, you turn your back on the Queen of Cups and you're planning your whole move. It's as if you were, um, you've asked the Queen of Cups to help you and you realize that she has no effort of helping you or she can't do it is one of the reasons that she um, is unable to do it. So you decided, um, you know, I am... Um, I'm moving on I am going to get my life to, um, together and I'm moving on so it could be that you're in a relationship with this um, Pisces cancer or scorpion woman and whatever it is you know you 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 stand your you you have the nine of ones you're protected from this person whoever this person is you're definitely protected from this person um, the two of Pentacles is here what happened happened with the two of Pentacles is um, you're trying, yeah, you're definitely seeing what has transpired. Definitely. You're definitely seeing what has transpired. Okay. And, um, now you are letting it go and you're just dealing with, um, there is, you're seeing the lies and deception. You are seeing the lies and deception. You're definitely now seeing the lies and deception. It's as if the will, you pull the will yourself away from your face and you're seeing the line the lies and deception um of what was transpiring so you pull away the wool over your face some of you are dealing with um a taurus virgo or a capricorn this man and you're trying to figure out this person whatever it is you're trying to figure out this person I think this person um, wants to offer you something. Some of you, this person could be your child father. Your wishes and dream definitely is going to be coming true with this man. This man is going to be coming true for you. This man really cares about you and he's going to be coming true. This could be someone you have been married to. Um, 
you have been married to this person or um, you have definitely been married to this person and um, whatever the situation is um, you have definitely married to this person and uh, um, you have a child together I'm seeing a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to come through for you and help you out okay so this is going to be good and they're going to be making your wishes and dreams come true and I'm, I'm really seeing this person coming up you um, you will meet this person in this week okay the full um, the eight of swords keep on coming up it's like a lot of people are not seeing things clearly with a family issue and you're walking away okay you're walking away because um, for you is that there is nothing more here to work on and I you know it's as if this family has placed you in so many hardship that you never really need to be in and you're thinking what the hell family is for family is for um, you know working together but um, whoever and out there the family because there is just some um, really lies and deception lies and deception and you're going to be finding out all of this it's all going to be coming out you're going to be seeing the truth about your family who exactly your family are um, and um, some of you are going to be coming in some money okay and you're just going to be doing as if you don't have it you don't and, and you're you're not going to tell anyone about this money that you receive because it's as if a whole lot of money is going to be coming into you whether it's a payout whether it's winning a lawsuit whatever it is but this payout or whatever it is you are going to definitely 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 come in a lot of money because I'm seeing your wishes and dreams at work coming true the page of Pentacles is a, a message coming to you that you're going to be receiving some money okay um, and that whatever that was going on at your work it has come out and now your wishes and dream about that negative situation is going to be ending okay some of you you're going to be receiving an offer from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you there is just definitely lies and deceitfulness in the family and you're going to be receiving these messages okay because you're going to be definitely receiving these messages you're going to be finding out everything number 10 and it's not the wheel of fortune it's lies and deceptiveness comes up twice so this week um the week um this third week for you sagittarians is going to be a, a week of revealing and letting you know about issues okay so the star what does the star bring up you gotta make a, a decision about your relationship twice the star so this is good there is open fate and it's as if your spirit guides are, are are protecting you definitely new love is going to be coming in for you okay so wow saggy okay you guys beat everyone <laughs> with <a> conflict <laughs> wow You're gonna be seeing the truth some news is going to be coming to you or information could be coming to you about a house and you're gonna be um, you're gonna be seeing the truth of a situation about a house There's a whole lot happening. Some of you have to make a decision. So you guys have two, ten, 
and 17 2 10 and 17 2 10 and 17 That's a lot of lies. Saji, you're going to be finding out a lot of lies because it's as if um, the truth is going to be coming out, Saji. You're going to be finding out a lot of lies. Mm -hmm. And whoever is in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion between the age of 18 and 45, um, you're going to know exactly, exactly what he has done or she has done. Some of you are deciding whether or not to go on with a relationship that you're in. I think you feel this is, um, this is gone and gone its course and, uh, it's like you're leaving it to let it just fade out. Nine of Wands, yeah. But you're protected. You're protected from um, um, a lady, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Whoever this lady is, it's like a girlfriend or someone who you worked with. Um, you're deciding and you're planning. Mm, I'm not really trusting you so I am going to go my own way but I'm not ready yet and I'm not telling you what I'm gonna do it's as if you're not trusting this person whoever this person is it can be a family member or someone or that sort of a thing is a family member or that but you're not trusting this person so you're not showing your hands you're like okay you are not you weren't being very honest to me and I know you so I'm not showing you my hands anymore. Um, I know you haven't been honest. I tried to open up. I tried to show you. But you haven't been very honest. So I am not showing my hands anymore. And that's how you're dealing with the spicy cancer or scorpion. And I'm seeing it coming up as a cousin or a relative. or, But it's as if, no, I don't really want to deal with you. No, because the person wasn't being honest. Now, um, the fool. So you have zero because God is speaking to you. You have the wheel of fortune also. So it's a very lucky week. Um, and it's like um, on the surface, there's um, really horrible things happening. But like underneath the wheel of fortune, because these is like two wheel of fortune, two times the ten of swords, two times, um, two times... Uh, um the the fool um so it's as if a whole lot of stuff a whole lot of horrible stuff on the on the top is happening but underneath there is the miracle <laughs> yeah and i can't explain it but if you look at this reading it's like on top of everything there is just so much that is happening but underneath is where the miracle is you you guys are definitely going to make a decision and it's as if you know you're in um, right, right at this moment in this week, you're like taking time to figure out what is your next move. I'm seeing you want to cut away everyone and just go away and make a new start for yourself. Just no family, nothing. You just, just, just no family, no nothing. Um, I think you, you, you find that your family is just, um, you're like, are they really my, my family? But yes, it's your bloodline. So, <laughs> oh my God. It's like, really? Do I know these people? Jesus. Oh, okay. So you have the crystal ascension. So a lot of you are going through ascension. I can see this happening in this reading alone that a lot of you are going through ascension. Some of you are going to be meeting a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn at work and this person is going to really open up doors of opportunities for you okay um and this is going to be good you could be meeting this person next week friday on the friday you know on a friday um i am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the crystal kingdom 
and the second card is the water element I allow my body mind and soul to flow intuitively to the changes in my life so these are two beautiful energies you can both say the affirmation on them and use the affirmation of the card that you choose but you can also say the other affirmation if you need it and i'm really really wishing you a really wonderful positive positive alignment of energy namaste